Hi, I'm Libby and this is the recap video for Intro to Poi at September Wildfire 2015. Um, so we had a great class today, we talked about a lot of things. Um, we started with some sort of theory about how our poi work, uh, different kinds of poi. So we talked about customizing the length. Um, I tend to like mine to be about to my shoulder, but whatever's comfortable for you. Um, we talked about different grips. This is a double, hand, double loop grip. There's also a single loop and ball handles which you can hold sort of either in a pinch grip or between two fingers. Um, and we talked about the weight of our poi. Um, these are about four and a half ounces, anywhere from two to eight is typical. Um, and again, that's gonna make them feel very different. They're gonna be, you know, uh, light poi are sort of fast and whippy. Uh, heavy poi are sort of a little bit more, um, you know, they have a little bit more inertia. Um, so toy around with those, see feel what feels comfortable for you. Uh, we also talked about the ways that your poi spin. Uh, this is a basic spin around your hand. We can have them pendulum, where it goes sort of in that nice arc but doesn't go over the hand. And we can have an extension, which is a, a spin around the shoulder. We also talked about our planes, which is the sort of two-dimensional piece of paper in space that we're spinning on. Uh, so this would be my front plane. And this is my side plane when I turn into it. Uh, you'll notice that the poi doesn't move, I just move around it to change my planes. Uh, you can also change your plane by, say, doing a stall and bringing it back in another plane. Uh, and you can bend it around, um, although a lot of people do that unintentionally. Uh, it's nice to sort of know what you're doing and plan it out. Um, so those are our planes, front, side. There's also the floor plane here and here, which comes in useful sometimes. Uh, we also talked about direction of poi, um, so they can be spinning forwards, like this, or reverse. Uh, it's just good to be able to keep track of. They can be spinning together re with respect to each other, so right now they're both going in reverse. I can also have them in uh, opposites, so one is going forward, one's going reverse. That also applies if I'm in my front plane. Um, this is in fact a butterfly. Is um, opposite direction, same time. Uh, a lockout is same direction, same time. Uh, and finally we talked about the timing of our poi. Um, this is uh, same time, when they're sort of going down at the same time, like a drum beat. We can also have one and two and one and two and, and that's our split time. And these both come in useful. Uh, all right, so we started out with, um, our first move was the butterfly, which we got into from this sort of pendulum uh, crossed hands below us, and scooping out to the sides, bringing it in, trying to keep that nice bounce, because that's what keeps our timing straight. You want to think about them going down at the same time. Uh, that's what keeps them from colliding into each other. Uh, we are in our front plane, but it's also a little bit off. It's, um, it's kind of a little bit of an X, so they're, um, they're not actually in each other's space. Uh, we talked about going from that to a pendulum into the reverse, because uh, a pendulum is a really great way to change direction. We also talked about using stalls to change direction. Uh, stall being, uh, we had a couple explanations. One was you, know, you have this circle and you look for your tangent vector, if you think in physics terms, which is going sort of, you know, here it's going to the right, here it's going up, left, down. So you find out where you want the poi to go. I want it to go down because down stalls are nice and easy because of gravity. Uh, and you just uh, you follow that poi around with this hand, and you're going to stack that hand on top of the poi and sink it down. Uh, the other m metaphor we used was the Mario uh, Mario tubes that you jump down, and you want it to go straight down into that tube without touching the side walls. It'll sink it nice down. Uh, so those are great ways of changing direction while you're spinning. Uh, we also talked about turns a lot, uh, how to turn with your poi. Uh, so if I'm facing this way, um, I'm going to think about bringing the poi to my... Um, actually, we talked about them from this position, where we're spinning to our left in our sort of side plane to our torso, which is turned. Um, and we're going to bring the poi in front of us and down, and up on the other side, getting into reverse. From reverse, we go up and around the top to forwards. So you're always following the direction that the poi want to go. And you can, of course, do that with, uh, with the footwork. Just turn. You can keep going the same direction, or go back the way you came. Uh, 
Now we then took a break and talked about pendulum flowers. Um, so those are just ways of moving our arms in these neat patterns with the poi, uh, just swaying and getting these nice pendulums. Uh, this one, our arms are going in opposite directions, split time. Um, that means that our arms are together at the sides, split up and down, together at the sides, split up and down. So each arm is making a nice big circle. And we can go from that into this one, where our arms are going same direction, same time. And we transition from that into our turns. So there's a lot of options there you can play around with. Uh, then we talked about our weaves. Uh, we talked about our two-beat weave. Uh, and we started from a split time together forwards. Or sorry, split time, same direction forwards. Um, and we started just with cross, cross, uncross, and then coming back to our sides. From there, once that feels comfortable, we just add another cross on top of it, two reps, and then from there, you can just keep going. Uh, if you know the reverse, you can also go into this lockout at the sides, and into the reverse. Yeah. Into a turn. And eventually you can take that out altogether. Uh, and then finally, at the end, we talked about our uh, reels. Uh, reels being that sort of figure eight motion at your hip or at your shoulder or anywhere else. Um, and putting those hands together. This one's actually a whole lot like the turns we did initially, um, but we're just taking out all those extra circles and just doing front and back. And we also talked about doing that from a reverse butterfly in our opposites, front and back. And we talked about that these are a really nice sort of resting place to get comfortable with. And there are a lot of variations. You can go through all of the timing and direction combinations for these. Uh, that's kind of a lot of fun. Uh, that's what we covered in Intro Poi. Uh, feel free to find me on the internet or next wildfire if you have any questions. And thanks for being a great class.